that say that we can't even protest violence safely. Students at Champlain Valley Union High School had planned a walkout today to protest gun violence following the shooting in Uvalde, Texas. Instead, the school had a shooting threat of its own. A student uh, from another school was um, potentially issuing a violent threat to our school. Principal Adam Bunting says the school learned of the threat Wednesday night. CVU contacted law enforcement immediately. According to police, the student who made the threat did not own a handgun. Students are old enough to understand what is right and wrong, and they're old enough to understand that they should feel safe in their schools. But some state education officials say incidents like this might become a bit more frequent following the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, now that we're coming back into schools and we're feeling the impacts of the stress and trauma and, and anxiety associated with our pandemic response, you know, I think we're starting to see a significant spike in those uh, across the country. CVU had Heinsberg police on site all day and students have rescheduled the walkout to Friday morning. They are the actual ones who are being impacted. They are the ones who are dying. Teachers are the ones who are dying trying to protect them and no one is listening to them. A normality for many students now are lockdown drills, but they look a little different here in Vermont. Instead of just hiding, officials are encouraging a multi-option approach. Officials say being connected to your student body should be a top priority and is the best preventative measure. The, the most Im important thing, whether it's, it's students at CVU, you know, whether it's students at other schools across the state, uh, it's just that every student has, has an adult that they can talk to, has someone in their corner, knows that they're cared about, has a sense of belonging. Um, that, that to me is the most important thing in all of this.